Okay, so okay, I'm back again. Second time for today. Yes, I'm look even more greasy and sweaty and everything from before. And my hair is all poofed up all over too. Um, oh gosh, it was all over the place. Okay, now, um, I'm not sure if I did a video about Ovake that I made. Now, I really, I really, really would love someone to make me a wig. Um, I'm not quite sure if I want it, like, mid-length. Like, you know, like, I call this mid-length, okay? Um, or if I want it short. I do love short hair. But, um, I'm kind of iffy. Anyways, I decided, um, why not try to make your own wig, you know? So, I bought some weave, I think this was, I think the brand was Equal, I'm sorry, um, I don't think I have it, I had it off, because I was trying to record it before, and then I had a rush out, so now I'm back, um, so it's not, um, on her head properly as it was before, forgive me, but the, the brand, weave here that I bought was equal I think is equal and the name of the weave or the curl pattern was jazz yeah so this is jazz weave I call it a weave I'm not sure just had jazz but I really wanted jerry curl but it didn't have jerry curl and I also wanted 1b30 or I think 1b33 but 1b30 is more my preference but I got this color which is pretty close so I don't mind, um, I'm not sure if I could put it on now since I have a puff, but, um, what I did with this weave, or wig, sorry, how I made it, I used a spandex cap rather than the regular socking caps, and there are a few reasons why I chose to use this type of cap. It's because, number one, it is more durable and it wouldn't tear that easily. And also, um, my initial plan was to um, glue, gun, glue gun the weave onto the cap. And this is pretty resistant to heat. I shouldn't say resistant, but it wouldn't melt it or anything like the socking cap would. So, I would have... Um, made this my my option my, my preference sorry and the thing about it that I like as well there is a tag here so that is how I would determine the front from the back and how I made this I didn't bother to glue it I decided um, just in case I'll stitch it just in case I want to use the, the hair for something else I'm not sure oh the length was it gave me three pieces three bundles it was a six, six, seven, and eight. And this is actually two packs of hair. Well, a little bit left over, but this is two packs of hair. And I started from the back and I stitched it. I used brown thread and I stitched it. This is what the inside looks like. Stitched it. And for the closure, I was all... I was always like fascinated about making a wig and stuff, but my um, challenge or what I um, assume would have been my challenge would have been the closure. Now, how I made the closure, I attempted to glue the, um, the, the middle, the closure, but I didn't have any of the weave glue or whatever glue you call it, the black glue. I didn't have any of that, so I tried using... E6000 okay now that did not work so what I did it didn't work and it leave like 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 some white dried glue there it's not that a big issue so it don't really matter but um what I've done though I tw um, twirl the closure as people usually do and I tried really hard to keep it in place oh actually what I did when I twirled it I actually stitched it the closure itself I stitched it the weft and then I stitched it onto the cap so I stitched it first and then I stitched it onto the cap so 
I can definitely say everything here is 100% hand stitch, okay? And I am really happy for that. Um, I'm not sure. Let me try. And, and as I mentioned in my previous video, this is... Um, this is going to be, this is a year, this month is actually a year since I've been natural. Now, I'm going to attempt to put this cap on. Mind if it doesn't look right because my hair isn't braided and I can't seem to put my hands on a socking cap before I put this on. And trust me, I when I tried this after I made it, I didn't put a socking cap on because this is really thick as it is. As you can see, this is thick material okay sorry i keep looking at myself here this is really thick material and um outside is really hot i do not like the heat that's why i prefer to go with the shortest tile as well so please forgive me if it doesn't um if it doesn't fit as it should i'm just just giving you an idea of well not really a good idea because it's really poofy because my hair is poofy under it but yeah this is it it looks what do you think you know after i made it and i turned it on and i took pictures i wasn't really like digging it because i'm i'm not used to big hair but i guess if it was going to a party or something i can probably like rock it and it doesn't look it doesn't look too bad actually I guess depending on the accessories and stuff that you wear, it, it, it can make a difference. Um, I'm going to try to turn around so you can see the back. Oh my god, I hate doing this because they don't ever come out right. Um, oh, I have a mirror. Uh, let's see. I'm not sure if you guys can see that well. Um, can you see? Not sure if you guys can see, or if I'm just wasting my time. Which a possibility I am because I can't seem to get my head in line with the mirror. Um, when I'm doing it like myself, if my own mirror, oh there we go. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Looked in the mirror. Okay, anyways, enough of that. Let me just turn around. Let me show you guys. Let me just do it this way. Show you guys, you see? That's the back. That's the back. Where's my hair sticking under there? Now, mind you, it, it possibly it possibly can like sit better than it probably would if um my hair was actually braided under here. It to me this suits like a party kind of event kind of thing i can't picture myself wearing my hair like this like every day i mean when i mean every day i mean like like out for a whole day i can't i can't imagine going to school with kids you know out of preschool dealing with this this is just too much the kids alone are too much so dealing with this out of school preschool mm -mm. i personally wouldn't rock it but you know, to each its own. But I kind of like it the second, well, the fourth time around because I actually chopped it. It was like really, really out there and I couldn't deal with it. So, yeah, this is just a little sneak peek. Well, no, not really a little. But um, this is how I made my wig, my first attempt at making a wig now what i would like to do is to attempt making another one either with i saw some spanish curl not sure i think it's premium some brand i'm not really familiar with hair hair brands and stuff anymore like i used to be but um yeah i would like to to experiment with making a straight weave and another curly weave one that the actual has curls curls are more defined and not so much of a a wave pattern yeah I was really digging for the um, Jerry curl I wanted a more natural look but it 
this is and, and, and this was like for 10 bucks 10 Barbados dollars so I bought two packs which would have been for twenty dollars and anyone who lives in the Caribbean could identify that here in the Caribbean is very 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 expensive unlike um, overseas now I um, what actually do eventually is to probably get a professional person do a natural wig for me um the ideal wig i would like to get is a tony bratson style wig yeah short like that i had one done years ago which was my first wig and it looked it looked exceptional exceptional but unfortunately i lost a contact for the person and stuff i don't even remember how i even got in contact with her because I never met her in my life but she does really good work really good work a lady by the name of kim and that's all i know okay so yeah let me know what you think about my jazz wig that i made myself so i'll be taking my jazz wig off now and putting it back on my girl i had her for years actually i had her when i had my first wig done so yeah that's just a brief update and you can see this is how the front looks like i say my hair isn't braided or anything under there but that's to show you how the hair looks or how i stitched it that is how i stitched it so if you don't want to do the sucking cap thing you can use the spandex and let me tell you i really do do love this i love this material and the other part about it that I like is the fact that I stitched it and I could unstitch it and use the hair in another style if I want or whatever. So, that is my little hair update thingy. My, my, my handmade wig, stitched wig, all stitch using a foam head. I actually made it on this and the measurement my head is pretty small so i didn't have any issues but someone i saw a video um or someone who have a bigger head and they wanted to like have an idea of how to make um wigs for bigger head people and what they did was to wrap scotch tape you know the clear the clear tape they wrapped it around and around what they did first was to measure their heads measured her head and then they just wrap the tape around and around and around until they got the measurement that would correspond with their own heads. And then they made the wig onto that. Which I thought was an ingenious idea. Right. So, again, hope everyone have a tremendous weekend. And maybe I could just like, sneak a little piece here at the side to do like a lens check. Like, I don't usually do lens checks, but hey, what the heck. Okay, so my hair goes to right there. That's that side. This is the other side. Which is just like there. Um, let's see. The front goes there. Right there. Right over my eye. Or on my eye. And the back, oh, you can't see that. The back goes, let me just know. Okay, the back goes up there. Let's see. Okay, but I think my hair is growing pretty, pretty steady at a steady pace. You know, there are some hair, hair dates about persons who have did the big chop, and their hair is like mad, mad crazy. I mean, crazy in terms of length. Their length is like out there, you know? And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? And so, well, it's not necessarily what I'm doing wrong. It's just that I've learned to accept that this is how my hair grow. I personally know my hair don't grow fast, but I'm loving what I could do with it. I'm loving the way how it is right now. I'm just going to um, twist it and then do my bantu knots and leave it like that for the rest of the night and do it back in the same style again tomorrow so that is my update to the loop bye y'all